Welcome to Outlaw Woodworking. So if you've seen my last video, you'll know that I don't have much wood left at my my house or my shop. Um, I was digging through the, the firewood pile and basically ended up making some shitty coasters. They weren't bad, they were just some little little coasters, but um, yeah, I, I, you know, I like making nice stuff and sometimes you just got to go out and get some wood. So I'm going to leave my house right now and head into town and see if I can't get some walnut. Um, I think I'm going to get a little poplar, some walnut and some poplar to make a really nice cutting board. So I managed to get some poplar um, and a piece of walnut. But today, the day's running out, but I still want to make something today. So I'm going to make, out of this 12-inch wide poplar, I'm going to make a small cutting board. And I'm going to, first I'm going to make a template of what I think the, the um, cutting board should look like. So I'm going to draw out kind of a freehand crazy drawing of what I think the, the cutting board would look cool if it was shaped at. So I I sketch up a couple times, you know, kind of, and then I take it over to the bandsaw and I start cutting it out. And, oh, these, yeah, I'll leave these in the description. So safety glasses, I'm always looking for nicer safety glasses. And these DeWalt safety glasses, they are really nice, big lenses. They fit really nice on your face, and um, I'll leave a link in the description. I, I really like them. Anyway, I, um, I wanted to make a pattern that I could do. If I, liked, if I liked it, then I could duplicate it really easy and crank out some Christmas gifts. Um, Christmas is in a, what is this? Couple, I think Christmas is in a couple more months, but I want to I wanna kind of get a jump on it. So I, I made a template. And what I'm going to do is shape this template to where I think it looks good. And then what I'll do is I'll, after I get it shaped, I'll transfer it over to the, um, the piece of poplar. And the rigid, the rigid um, sander is really working out nice. I jigsaw out the little hole. Yeah, I just make a little template. of what. Um, let me know what you think of this design in the comments. I'm always interested to see what people think. Even if, you know, even if you don't like it, it's nice if you, if I can hear what people think. Anyway, yeah, right here I'm using the half inch to go inside that small area of the inside of the handle. And that was pretty nice. I was surprised, uh, I was surprised how much uh, I like using that, that little sander. I think I'm going to make a, a 90, though, um, off the back of that sander because look at that shape. I think that shape looks pretty good, but let me know what you think. So right here, I'm going to take off as little as possible to get that, get that off of this board. That way, I might be able to flip that bat, um, the other way and get another one without wasting some of that wood. Anyway, I take it over here to the the grizzly bandsaw, start cutting it out. And I was glad I got back from the lumberyard with enough time to try to do something. And this little cutting board is a fun thing. And I, a while back, my wife sent me some um, pictures of some different odd shapes and, and uh, we'll see if she likes this one. Anyway, I, I, uh, I just jigsaw this out and take it over, drill a hole in the center of the handle. I hate it when they put the stickers on the wood because they're not that easy to get off, actually. Although I'm going to sand this whole thing anyway. Put the dust collection on and start sanding the inside of that handle. It's nice when you're using the bandsaw if you just, you take it as close to the pencil mark as you can, but don't go into the pencil mark and then come back and sand into the pencil mark. And um, that works out pretty good. This is a really a freehand 
shape of a handle. There's no straight line on that thing except the two sides and the bottom, I guess. But I thought, I think it looks cool. I, I'm, you know, even looking at it while I'm uh, editing this video, I'm thinking, yeah, it's not a bad shape. So I'm kind of glad I made a template that I can use if I want to make some more of them. I then um, sand the whole thing. Right here I'm using, um, I think I'm using 80 grit. And then I go up and then I go 120 and then I go 220. But it had some rough spots, especially in that corner where I'm at right now. It had, there was a rough spot I needed to get out of there. Uh, but anyway, I proceed to sand this whole thing. And once I get, once I get the bulk of it sanded, then I take it over to the router. Once over at the router, I'm going to use a quarter round bit and I'm going to round over all sides, inside the handle, outside the handle, all sides with this little quarter round. I love having the router and the table. Then I go back over. I'm By now I'm at 120 grit and then I go to 220 grit and then I even do a little hand sanding. Once I get the hand sanding done, kind of get it cleaned off where I'm really happy with it, I then take it over and put some walrus oil on it. And um, poplar looks pretty cool. I'm, you know, it's a, it's a wood that's, um, we've used a lot over the years in cabinets and stuff. And it seems like a really nice product. And there it is. We'll let it dry. And then tomorrow we'll put some uh, walrus wax on it. The next day I grab a cup of coffee and I go proceed to put this walrus wax on the cutting board. The previous day I put the walrus oil on and now I just need to wax it and it'll be done. I'm also experimenting with a little GoPro on a little, see it go across the screen right there. That was an experiment to see if I could improve the video experience for my viewers and let me know what you think. Anyway, this walrus wax is really nice and it turns out, it turned out great. Thanks for watching this episode of Outlaw Woodworking. I really enjoyed um, making this cutting board and I was lucky I got home in time from the lumberyard to, to make it yesterday. And uh, the wax feels incredible. On uh, So I really like this walrus wood, wood wax and also this walrus oil. They're both really nice products. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Uh, Please subscribe, like the video, hit the bell. One of the things that um, that I'm always trying to do is learn to make better things. So I'm, I want to learn to be a better woodworker. And also I try to learn to make big, better videos. So today you can see my little helper there. And we'll see how that turns out. Um, it's a little motorized some little motorized thing that I got. I'll leave a description down below with a GoPro Hero 7 on top. And um, I'm always, you know, if I go back to my first video, I look at it, how bad it is. And um, so every every week or every day that I, I work in my shop doing woodworking, I'm also trying to improve my videos for the people watching so that you know, so they can see improvements too. And um, it's always a learning experience and I, and I enjoy learning. So anyway, thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time later. You gotta be careful though, that thing will go right off the table if you don't watch out. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time, later.